Hello there, people of the world, and welcome back to Trotskyite Soviet Union. We are in 1942, it's July, it's almost uh, six months, not really. A few months since the war ended. Uh, we've just been sort of building up, uh, making sure our puppets are okay, which isn't really the case, and I've been sort of confused about what we should do. Because, on the one hand, we have China, right? Uh, but China, th their faction's over now that the war with Japan's over. It seems like uh, the Chinese here, Mao, does not want to join our faction just yet. And, uh, well, we we don't really have much to do. Ooh, we could go to war with Bulgaria, because apparently the Axis does, does still exist. It seems like Hitler and Mussolini and everybody, they just fled to Bulgaria, and Bulgaria was like, oh, okay, whatever, let's just stay here. Uh, no one can touch us. Now, here's the thing. Uh, the Allies, or the French, will not leave the Allies until the war with Sweden and Denmark is over. I really wanted to have Sweden on our side, uh, and so with Denmark and Finland and, and so on and so forth, but I do think we are going to have to give up our boosting popularity in Sweden, and we're going to have to declare war on Denmark and Sweden ourselves so that we can uh, take this for us and make sure that the Allies... Uh, end up at peace. So let's go ahead and start fabricating on Denmark. We are, of course, going to cancel our boosting there. Norway, I don't know about yet. Um, but uh, these are the units, the Baltic units here. We're going to go over and take Scandinavia. Hopefully, it's going to be enough. I don't know. I mean, they have volunteers and shit, but I think we should be fine. Let's also start fabricating on Sweden. It's extremely cheap. I, I'm not sure why. I mean, yeah, Trotsky, uh, world tension minus 50%, I guess. But then the, the fact that we already have... I mean, this is just crazy cheap. Uh, but it's fine. Whatever. Let's, let's fabricate. Some people are also wondering, why don't I go to war with Finland or maybe even Poland or whatever? Why don't I attack the Allies now? And it's mostly because I feel bad about ta uh, taking out the French. Uh, so I sort of want the French out of the Allies before we attack, and um, I'm not certain I can take on the Allies just yet, because if the US jumps in all of a sudden, I'm I'm not sure. I'm uh, actually not at all sure. I mean, let's estimate, say they have 124 divisions, and they have 200, that's 300. We don't have 300, so um, we, just, we really just want to wait for our puppets to sort of... Uh, get a little bit stronger. I sort of really need the political power, so I'm, for now I'm going to stop boosting uh, ideology in Norway and just focus on Mexico and Finland. Uh, Finland, I thought, you know, would have turned to us a long time ago, but I guess they're going to have a civil war. Um, so, we'll let that fire. We're not going to research it right now, but I, s I realize that rockets are really powerful. Rocket 2's not that much, but Rocket 3's actually have an, an 11,000 um, range, and you don't actually have to use any industry, so that's pretty amazing. So, in case the US does go to war with us, or, you know, we're able to take out the Allies before, um, bef before the US joins, then... My plan is basically to just build a bunch of rocket sites throughout all, all of Europe, have rocket site 3s and just bomb the shit out of the US. Um, also have lots of air defense, have a very powerful air force, and uh, just hope that we pummel them down over time. Honestly, this is something I sort of hate about the factions, right? That when you're not at war, uh, there's a minus penalty. Oh, neither we or not or you are at war. If I was at war and they weren't at war, it, they'd be like, "Oh, you're in a war that I don't want to be dragged into." And when the, so basically, the only opportunity to invite people is when they're at war. But it can't be a civil war either, because that's it's like, "Oh, is in the civil war minus 50." Uh, so it's kind of annoying this whole thing. And also, like this whole, "Oh, we are also a major nation." Okay, cool. But you're in an alliance with, with the Brits. So they're a, they're also a major nation. Also, this is going to severely halt our progress in terms of uh, political power gain. But you know, I didn't want to do it from the beginning. But I still feel like this is uh, 
sort of important because when we are at war with the US, uh, firing off a civil war is going to be great. Oh, and by the way, I totally realized my mistake. We could have cancelled the boost coup in Germany, but the thing was that uh, the button was really, really un unclear. It, w it looked like an information button. Like, why would you have a cancel button up there? Because basically you can do, it says cancel coup, you click there, and then there's a send button, right? And then the cancel button up here. But it doesn't, it doesn't really make sense, like why would you click cancel and not then send, but have to click cancel again? Holy crap! It happened. You know what, let's uh, cancel the conqueror thing against Sweden. I know it was cheap, but... Um, doesn't look like we're gonna be needing it anymore because Sweden is now communist. They just turned communist July 1942 all of a sudden, so that's great. I wonder if they have, okay, they have national unity, deterrence, and a Swedish Tiger army training. Okay. Um, we could invite them, but that means that we could end up at war with the Allies. Okay, you know what? It's great that you're a communist, but I'm not going to invite you just yet. Um, I'm going to let you request it. We're probably going to have... I think I'm going to try to invade Denmark before we invite you over. I have to say, though, after... You know, I, maybe it's the puppets, I'm not sure. But the the performance of the game just dropped dramatically. Like, I, I play it on speed 5, and when, when I am paused, it's just ugh, horrible. Sweden, I'm going to send you 1,700 tanks. What about that? And what about 11,000 MN M1891s, 30s? I don't know if that's how it's supposed to be said. And what about 5,000 old um, 1936-76mm artillery pieces? Now, right now, the only thing that sort of annoys me uh, with my borders is, uh, of course, Poland. Uh, so when we do defeat the Allies, I think I'll take either all of Poland or most of Poland. Uh, because also, if we don't take all of Poland, what might happen is that we'll just have another state that is... I, I don't know, it just looks better if we, if we take everything, right? I wish I could force puppets to give territory to other puppets. Uh, that'd be very nice, because I forgot to, or I didn't forget, it's because we clicked Satellite instead of Puppet. If you click Puppet in the Peace Deal, uh, you have to basically, you know, start taking all the territory uh, by yourself. However, if you click Satellite, all the territory that the country already holds um, becomes, you know, the country. So that's why uh, Prague isn't part of Czechoslovakia and Austria is not free. I still sort of cringe every time I see all the Chinese colonies everywhere. It's uh, kind of scary. Legionaries Bulgaria declared war on Greece. Interesting. I wonder... Are you in the Allies yet? No. Huh. Time for Infantry Equipment 3. Yes, I know we are sort of behind on equipment, but... I think we're f we're fine, right? Let's see. Infantry equipment. Uh, yeah, no, we're not behind. It's just that a lot of it is quite old. All right, let's make a variant of the T T34, the T34A. That's 300 points right here. Um, a little bit slower tank, very s much slower. Uh, like, not much. I mean, it's uh, not not a lot of difference there, but um, a lot more piercing, uh, some more soft attack, a lot more armor. Um, a lot more heart attack and increased reliability. And the lag 3A, uh, increased range, increased agility, increased reliability, increased attack, and increased max speed. Greece joined the Allies. Well, maybe we should stop the lend lease. Mm, okay, one more day, or a few more hours. 302 divisions, 89 military factories, 146 civilian ones. I think we're pretty good off, or well off. Let's see China, because I always keep looking at the military factories and say, oh, that's their total number of factories, but that's not the case. Uh, we finished the Southern th Thrust, though, so we have a focus against Afghanistan and Iraq. Um, I don't really want to use it, though, right now, but 
ultimatum to Greece. Uh, mm, I don't know anymore. What else could we do? Aviation cult. New Soviet man. You know what? Let's do uh, claims on Poland. The British Parliament debates intervention in the Benelux. Really? Aren't they in the Allies? That's interesting. Justification on Denmark is finished. Wonderful. I don't know if uh, it'll be enough, but I don't really care. Ooh, free dockyards. Okay, more towards the battleships. Okay, let's go. Alright, I have to call in Germany in order to successfully do this. Somehow they enveloped two of my divisions, uh, which pisses me off quite a bit, but uh, oh well, stuff happens. Germans want to send expeditionary forces. I mean, cool and all, but uh, I don't want you to become more independent, so no. Ah, the French would join, but since Sweden is at war with France, then it's not possible. No, Germany, I said no. Um, excuse me, Germany, did I give you control over the this province? No, I didn't. So, why do you have it? I'm sorry, Denmark, but you'll have to cease to exist. Instead, we're gonna satellite Iceland, uh, take your islands over here, and uh, let Germany take Jutland. Oh, right, the British are in this. Uh, do I want Jutland? Yes, but the Faroe Islands and Greenland are actually quite strategic since uh, Iceland was liberated by the UK. So, there we go, Treaty of Greenland. Conference is over, we took one state. This Ger Germans took three states. Wait, what? Three states. Oh my god, did we just give Germany... Oh, fuck. Damn it. Whatever, there are puppets, it doesn't matter. It's actually... okay. We're gonna bes begin max e exercises throughout our uh, our armies here at least in the west, just to make sure that they're top-notch in case war should come. Let's go ahead and claim Bessarabia because I know that there's an event chain. I, I don't actually have to go to war in case they do accept. This is not like we demand it, but by finishing this, uh, I think that Romania gets an event chain where they can just seed the region, and uh, I'm hoping for that instead. I mean, I was thinking, hey, demand Eastern Poland, but then again, I'm not really... Yeah, you can call me weak or whatever, but I don't really feel like going to war with the Allies right now. But I realize we have a General Level 6 that we uh, had stationed in Japan, so I'm going to promote him. We're going to lose a skill point and a trait, but that's fine. Um, because, you know, that bonus is amazing. The People's Republic of China declared war on China. Hopefully, China doesn't go ahead and join the Allies. That'd be terrible. They are uh, non-aligned, though, so... Eh, but then again, the faction ten or the limit, we're at already above 100, so it doesn't really matter at this point. But, uh, you know what, let's invite China to our faction. China, take all the equipment. Just win this war, please. Hmm, I wonder. You know what, let's go ahead and join this war. It might be a fatal mistake on my part, but uh, I, I, do, I do think we're going to win at, at some point. Uh, the issue here is if China will join the Allies. That's, that's That would be very, very troublesome. China joined the Axis. Thank you. Oh, I, I'm so relieved. You know, it's just Bulgaria, so who gives a shit? We're gonna cross China now. And, of course, we're gonna call our puppets just so we can actually use our units. And, uh, voila. You know what, since this is a big war, I think we'll, uh, we're, we'll just go ahead and call in all our allies. Non-aggression pact. Um, sure. Why? Why have you? Are you at war? No. Ooh, you joined the faction. Very interesting. Uh, and why is that? Just has strategic reasons. Wants to contain legionaries, Bulgaria, uh, and is threatened by us. Okay. Guerrilla tactics is a uh, done. Of course, maybe we should have gone for this branch here, but this looked uh, pretty nice when we were at war with Germany, and it's worked out fine, so, you know, who cares? Well, maybe we should go for synthetic oil experiments now, uh, or should we? I don't know. Maybe... <gasps> what about rockets? Yeah, let's do that. Non-aggression with the British. Let's do that. 
I have to admit, I should be studying, uh, but this is so addicting, and, um, well, I mean, oh, yes. That was probably totally not understandable at all. Ah, ha, ha, yes. It happened. Red Finland seeks to join the Soviet Union. The recent political turmo turmoil in Red Finland has left their government with a strong vision for the future that aligns with our own. They have seen the good a powerful Soviet Union can do the world and are willing to give everything for the motherland. Hmm, world tension. I mean, who cares? Let's annex this. I mean, when did this happen? Um, well, it worked at least, so that's, that's good. There we go, and we also get their units, I think. Oh, yes. Okay, for the first time, I think we're not going to choose a national focus, not even these ones, uh, because then we'll just gain more political power, which is great, and we can start more revolutions all over the place. Also, seems like our um, working in Mexico uh, has worked, so let's sign a non-aggression pact and uh, try to get close to them. Uh, who else can we work on? Let's try to do Norway again, and I think maybe Yugoslavia. You know what? Turkey is more important than Yugoslavia at the moment. Okay, we've cut off Be Beijing. I'm gonna try to take the ports here. Uh, we'll use this army to sweep across and destroy everyone who is over here, and then we'll take down this army and uh, move towards Nanjing and take the ports. Nuclear reactor. I think this will be needed a lot in uh, maybe a future war to come. No, China. You can do stuff on your own, please. Flexible line or streamlined line? Streamlined line is always much cooler because uh, efficiency retention is like, okay, who cares? I, I know that we're going to probably change models a few times, but once we get to, like, a good model, it doesn't really, really matter, right? An armor genius? Please join me. Guatemala joined the Allies, but why? Oh, I know. Because Mexico. Right. Legionaries Bulgaria has capitulated. Uh, Mars Thres has announced their capitulation, so good job, France. But it does look like Germany jumped in and did some stuff there. So China is really close to capitulating. The British are sort of rushing the ports there, even though I wanted to do that, um, but we took Nanjing at least. The amount of steel that we're importing is just absolutely ridiculous, but, um, so we might actually want to take a few s steel places, wherever those are. As soon as Chongqing falls, China will be ours. China has capitulated, Trotsky has announced it, and look at that. We occupied all of that, but I, I don't really care, of course, the peace deal should come. Uh, at any moment. The French Commune took three states, the United Kingdom two, the Soviet Union 17, the People's Republic of China eight. Uh, Japan got all its territory back. We, uh, we took a lot of the islands in the Pacific. Uh, Minjiang was puppeted, Bulgaria was puppeted, and Ethiopia was puppeted. Oh shit, only that much? Crap, I screwed up there. But whatever, I mean, uh, China is split in two, so this is our um, our subject, uh, with Zhang Guatao as the leader, and then there's Mao, of course. So, uh, we basically own all of China now, which is great. And we also own Libya, uh, the stuff over there, and Ethiopia, why are you not in the faction? What the hell is this? Did I click the wrong button? Um, apparently Libya was not released. See, the peace screen is still a mess. I... It's so... Oh, so terrible. The game performance is so much better all of a sudden. It's like, oh, we clear China away. Uh, the whole... Ten all the tensions there, and uh, things look a lot better. Now, I won't say that the borders are amazing here, but they're okay. We've split China into its pieces, and um, they're all in the common turn, so that's that's wonderful. Now that we have some islands as well, I think uh, we're going to start uh, creating, or not just strengthening their their uh, bases, but we're also going to have to research marines, um, create some really big forts, naval forts, and 
huge bases all over the place um, because it's I think it's gonna be useful against uh, the, the United States at some point let's also go ahead and boost in Yugoslavia to make sure they join us um, eventually still kinda pissed about the UK taking a piece of Bulgaria here but uh, once the war comes we'll uh, steamroll it also we're gonna start canceling their military access to our our lands I'm tired of them moving around However, that is July 1943. It's been a year since we uh, left off. Um, I think we've progressed quite a bit. I was worried that we, we weren't going to be doing much for a while, uh, just building up against the Allies, but we have taken China, so that's good. Um, quite a nice population base. Uh, also, huge area for expansion, you know, for factories and so on and so forth. So, um, things are looking good. That that will be the end of this episode. I know it's a bit short this time, but you know, we'll um, we'll have lots of episodes instead. So that's that's a positive one, right? Anyway, this has been Game Gapster. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Farewell.